the perceptron, a fundamental building block of machine learning. Despite its slightly intimidating name, the concept behind it is surprisingly intuitive. Let's start by understanding when to use a perceptron. Ideally, we use it when our data is linearly separable. On the left, we have a data set where we can clearly draw a straight line to separate the axes from the triangles. This is linearly separable. On the right, however, we have a case where one class surrounds the other. No single straight line can separate them here. The perceptron is designed for the first case, though we'll see a trick for the second case later. Now, let's look at the parameters. The perceptron relies on a weight vector, which we'll call omega, and an input vector x. Notice that both vectors have one extra dimension. This is for the bias term, which allows our separating line to not pass through the origin. We also have a learning rate, nu, which controls how big of a step we take when adjusting our weights. So how does it actually classify a point? It's simple geometry. We take the dot product of our weight vector and our input vector. If the result is greater than zero, we classify the point as an x. If it's less than or equal to zero, it's a triangle. Geometrically, this dot product defines a line in 2D space that splits our plane in two. 